Hi guys, and welcome back for another episode of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. And today we're doing a speed build of Cassie and Brent's house. And in case you didn't know, last episode, if you missed it, uh, I had said I was getting tired of having them live in the apartment in the city life <laughs> for a whole two, two episodes, guys. I grew up tired pretty quickly. But anyways, I had said I wanted to move them out and, and get a house. I was thinking about doing that. So I went ahead and did that. So I sold every piece of furniture that they had and I think I gained like, you know, 17, 19,000. I think it was just under 20,000 simoleons, which is actually less than what you would originally start out with because you start out with 22,000, I think, or 20,000. Anyways, uh, so we, I had them move into uh, Brindleton Bay and they are on a 40 by 30 lot. I wanted to go for the 64 by 64 lot, but it was way too much money. I didn't realize after I had bulldozed the beautiful house that was there, uh, that is quite, still that piece of land is very expensive. So that's their goal is to move onto that large piece of land eventually. But for now, they're here on this small lot, but it's still a good sized lot. And it cost about 3,000 simoleons, which left them with like just under 17,000 simoleons. So I just decided I'm going to build just a pretty small house. Um, it actually turned out a little bit bigger than I had anticipated, but I was so proud of myself because I didn't use any cheats, guys. You know, sometimes I get start building. I'm like, oh, I just need a thousand more simoleons or you just need to, you know, 2,000 simoleons. I'm going to do ka-ching and, and I end up with 50,000 simoleons somehow. Um, so I, but I was proud. I didn't use any cheats. I took all of their simoleons practically doing this house, but um, I just kept it basic. I didn't want to go for a simple, just a square house. Obviously, none of us want just a square house, um, but it did end up turning out pretty square. Uh, but I like the inside is definitely different. Like there's a lot of angles and things going on. So right now I'm just putting up all of the wallpaper and going to be doing the flooring here in a second. But I went with kind of a neutral palette, more light bluish grays and more light mauves and greens and grays and more earthy kind of tones, I guess. And then um, I use like, I'd go with like the dark wood flooring. So you've got the light and the dark um, contrast. I, I like that. I may end up changing that because sometimes like one day I like it and the next day I like, oh, this is god awful. What was I thinking? But uh, so but for right now, this is how it ends up. Basically, it's just your basic uh, living room, dining room, kitchen, bathroom and one bedroom right now. So we do need to get them to get some simoleons. Um, Brent is a painter, so maybe he can, you know, get some money through that. And then we'll just keep having um, Cassie find, you know, collectibles and stuff. So I didn't, I had originally the kitchen and the, I believe the living room was pretty open. And then I decided I wanted to enclose the kitchen. So I started with a half wall. Um, you'll, you'll see towards the end how that changes pretty much. But I, I put down the flooring and I decided I didn't want that sharp edge. I wanted, I wanted kind of an angle and I did, I couldn't figure out how to get that angle. And then I realized I could put the wall down and then put in the floor and that would give an angle. I'm sure there is some way, some, you know, key shortcut or something I don't know about <laughs> that you use, but that's how I achieved that. And then I put up a little piece of a wall. And then I went outside after I had all the flooring and wallpaper up, I went and did the front. And though the front does, entryway does not stay that way, I don't, know what, I don't know what I was thinking, guys. But I think what I was thinking, if I could guess, is I wanted kind of like pillars without using pillars that you can get in the game. Because um, they're not too expensive, but I don't know. I, I think I wanted to put some kind of pillars. And now while that I'm watching this, I that was not the correct way. Um, I may fix that. I probably will fix that because I ends up I don't like I don't like it. But anyway, uh, then I moved onto the roof and guys, I struggle with the roof. Oh, I oh, I hate roofs. <laughs> um, roofs and me do not get along in whatever game, whether it's Sims 4, Sims 2, uh, Sims 3, uh, Creativeverse. <laughs> we all know I struggle really badly with roofs but I did my best and um, it doesn't look too bad in the end I mean I, it obviously looks like I have no clue what the frick I'm doing but I, I it, it's all right I guess I it'll turn out I swear 
But until then, you can enjoy my struggle. I think what the problem was is that I was trying to, it wasn't a complete square, first of all, and so I was trying to get different levels of the roof and I just didn't know what the hell I was doing and so <laughs> I was trying anything, but uh, I think that's the problem is that when I have little, you know, little sides that kind of jut out just a little bit and I don't have it on the other sides, it looks a little weird, but this is what I ended up with and then I end up pulling the front portion of the roof out or I end up putting up another piece of a roof on top for like an awning over those god awful I call them wings coming out of the house um, I definitely I'm gonna I'm gonna change that uh, yeah that's horrible and I wanted the front by the door I want it to be all stone we've seen those houses where it's like half stone and half siding um, so I wanted to have the front by the door like stone and then with stone pillars, but not yet pillars, if that makes sense. Um, I'll show you, I know exactly what I'm, I'm trying to say now that I'm watching this, I know exactly how to do it, but, and then the uh, siding on the other sides. But now what I'm doing is the path, and as you can see, it, I struggle with being, trying to get everything lined up so even with a sharp edge. So my fix was to put in flooring on, on either side and then put in, the do the use the terrain tool and you know get that to go it gets a, a little bit even and not always sometimes it does kind of bleed off like you'll see at the top once I take out the floor piece the flooring um, you'll see it's kind of smeared at the top by the door but this is zero simoleons and I, I wanted something nice and I didn't want to use flooring because that cost you know simoleons so this was my fix was by using this see how it's kind of not sharp on that side the other side turned out way better um, so I tried to smooth it out is not too bad oh it's, it's kind of bad uh, and then I put down the little low fence um, for kind of like you know decoration I guess and then I just go back in and I start to uh, decorate you know get all of the stuff that they decorate I, I say decorate that's funny because there's and the end I end up not decorating because I had no millions but I get them the basis of basis um, this is just basic guys we were gonna build this house up over time right now we have no simoleons so uh, the I did splurge on the shower and the bed well even the bed is actually I think the bed I, I go with is cheaper than the shower but I have a problem I can't just have just a shower and I can't have just the tub I have to have the shower tub so I this is the one I liked best because everything was like gray and blacks in here and so I, I picked the mint green because um, I felt like that went the best with it and then I put up a little wall on the end to kind of enclose the tub I like to enclose my tubs and I like to enclose everything I don't know why but I do and then um, I was looking for a little window to go above the toilet that would match kind of the other windows that went to the floor but I didn't want this to go to the floor and it was you know I had a hard time but I finally came up with that cheap little one and then here I'm getting the bed for this bedroom which is kind of like a light bluish gray which I really like that wallpaper if I could paint my my walls in my house this is the color I would paint it I love it and I love that mauveish light color mauve brown whatever gray purple I don't know what you call it and then I just go to the kitchen and I get I don't get the cheapest stove and stuff I get the next to the cheapest so it's a little bit better but it's not too I mean I could have gotten the cheapest and they would have had a little more smolians to play with but eh. so <laughs> I decided to go put counters in there and uh, yeah put the sink in can't forget that and then I just wanted a little table for the dining room for right now it's just Cassie and Brent but eventually that will be bigger um, all of these is going to be bigger, you know, that's the whole thing of this. We're going to grow. We're going to grow with lots of cats and dogs and babies and everything. So um, I just went with a kind of like a brownish colored um, couch 
and I was starting to get really low on simoleons by this point so I was like ah, I have to get the cheapest TV there is and that's what they got they got the brick the brick TV um, and they didn't I don't think I ended up getting them a computer I don't remember now I don't think so um, I think we were too poor I, I did even move I made the dining room a little bit smaller if you just saw there I had to make the dining room a little bit smaller because I did run out of simoleons and so um, yeah I gave myself <laughs> by getting, making it a little bit smaller pushing it back I got a little more simoleons to play with and uh, yeah, and then I had some things in the inventory. Oh, here I'm deleting walls. It was cheaper. So what I end up doing, which I end up really liking. So I have the, I didn't like how the couch was sitting. Um, I, I felt like it was too far from the TV or didn't, didn't seem right. <laughs> Anyways, so I put up a half wall and then I will move the couch to that half wall. At first I put it by the window and then I decided, nope, we're not gonna have like that. I don't like to see the back of the TV when you walk into the house. So I put the couch by the half wall and then we put in that, yes, I'm extending the wall there and changing that and then, so it's more um, even. And then I put in a regular full size wall because at this point I started getting an idea for like using the actual pillar and then doing the trim. So it looks like it's a window. So you'll see here in a minute. I'm not explaining it very well, but I <laughs> trust me, I know where I'm going with this. So I end up putting in that little window like that over the couch I really like. And so I decided to do the same by the kitchen. So I put in a couple walls and take out the half walls and then put in a couple pillars there and I make the little window like into the kitchen, um, which I really like. And then uh, I'm still, oh, I was going between what uh, trim I wanted to use inside there with the style I wanted, just more modern. And so uh, the most modern I could find was the very first one that you get in the um, building mode. And there I'm just putting down the stuff in the inventory now and going down in the basement there. <laughs> but uh, I had a few things like Sammy's bed and food dish and Brent had gotten a promotion so he got a new easel and some pictures uh, um, and this is Sammy's, whoops, sorry I'm bumping my mic. And this is Sammy's little pictures I decided to put here with a little light that Brent had got from his job and those are his pictures. So that is it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into this game and we'll take a look real quick up close okay so here we are in brindleton bay and like i said i wanted this area i didn't realize it would be so much i i should have known but twelve thousand. i was completely wrong it was twelve thousand, not eight thousand or six thousand but here we are i went with this lot over here it was four it was a thousand more simoleons than these two so i just i figured that's not bad i'll go here so. okay here we are cassie has to go to the bathroom <laughs> But um, let me put the walls up here. Uh, so here we are. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this. This does look better in person, but I, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this here because this is what it looks like. See, um, uh, let me let me fix this real quick because I know what, how to do it now. I think I know how to do it. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I did fix it. I did. Um, I straightened this out as you may notice I changed the grass because I had gone over a little too much and then I tried to look for the grass that was down which is like I think I can go to somebody else's lot they probably have the, the grass or not um, but it was it was it was not an option in the um, terrain mode whatever so I had this grass down and it was like really bright you can see in places it was like it's like really bright so I tie it the textures on top of it like the little bit of flowers on it and over here I made it a little bit duller green so I'm gonna work on this later a little bit I think but anyways it's that so and this looks a lot better but this looks a lot better especially when I put up I did fix the roof guys I finally figured it out and uh, this looks a lot better. So I yeah, I like this a lot better um, Still is not you know too terrific, but it's better than it was. Um, I figured it out <laughs> It does need windows this place does need windows. So I know I know we will get more windows But we're a little bit poor now. So we have 292 simoleons. But anyways, um, so I and I also did put a little bit of dirt around the entire house just for added texture and kind of 
give a color realistic look, you know, I like it a lot. So, and then I came in here and I did fix because these front pillars were off. The door did not sit right. Um, so I had to move this wall in by one. It was, it was like right here. And so I moved it over one, which made it smaller, which is what I wanted because I felt like the TV was too close to the couch. As you can see here, there's a couch, there's TV. Um, so that got fixed. And I also did fix, I put the trim across the top here, whereas it didn't have it before. And the same as in the kitchen, I put that trim. So we will take a little bit of a quick tour because there's not much going on in this house but you uh, can come through the door here and you have like this little a foyer which we will over time decorate with lots of stuff and this is one of the things I like by not using cheats and you know starting from scratch is that you can it starts out very plain but you over time build it up and you can see that difference so i like that so but anyways you can come in here you can see the kitchen a little bit here there's a back door and then the door to the bathroom and the bedroom but in here is just this simple little um dining room as you can see there's just nothing on the walls whatsoever completely bare because we're poor and then a little archway going into the kitchen which we just have this isn't it gorgeous it's gorgeous uh, I do I will be putting cupboards up and all of that just a little bit poor right now and then you see the living room and then the bedroom is just a bed guys it's just a bed. and then the bathroom is just the bathroom which you can't really see too well let me put the walls down a little bit so yeah there's the bathroom and it looks like that it's wonderful isn't it it's just beautiful so basically this is it and we are pretty poor now so <laughs> we have a lot to do um so i think brent is off to work i believe yes um he wants to make out with cassie what uh i think i was working on the relationship let's see what the relationship is they are, uh, he is unemployed. Oh, no, that's her. She's unemployed. Oh. She is good, is a romantic interest, and they are best friends. So that is good, but he wants to make out with Cassie, and he wants to get to know Cassie. We're going to pin those down because why not? And she wants to make out with Brent as well. Well, I'm glad the feeling is mutual. That's always good. Um, and she is, yep, key holder. Well, they no longer have an apartment, so I don't know why he's a key holder still. Anyways, uh, so that is that, I think. I like it. We have lots of room to build with and play with, and um, I'm glad that I actually made this a little bit larger because if I put up the walls, I could I easily add on a staircase. Like, we could move this out and we'd have to cut this probably off, make that just a wall, which is fine, but make put, we could put a staircase right here to go to the second floor. We also have room to expand outward as well, but I do want an area for garden and swimming pool, of course, but yeah, so we're just getting started in this. I know I wanted to start in the city. I tried, guys. It just didn't work out for me. Um, it's probably why I haven't played too much in that expansion pack or game pack, whatever pack. Anyways, <laughs> so I think that's going to be it. The next time we get together, we will actually be playing with them. And I might, I probably will continue off camera to get their relationship a little bit better. So, and hopefully we can get some simoleons and we can get to building that vet. So, which will be somewhere in here, not on this lot, but somewhere in Bindle, Bindle, uh, Brindleton Bay, we will have a vet. Uh, there's lots of room to play with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.